Welcome back. Today we are going to do a tasting of Perrier Jouet. This is a champagne. This is one of my, uh, I don't say be it's not a beginner champagne, but it was one of the first champagnes that I have experienced in my wine experience. So we're talking baby chicken, 21 years old. I think, I don't know how old I was. I wasn't like a child, I wasn't sneaking it, but um, but I was young. It was a long time ago. Long. Perrier Jouillet comes from Epernay, which is the Vallée de la Mort in Champagne region of France. The Cuvée is 40% Pinot Noir, 40% Pinot Meunier, and 20% Chardonnay. I believe that the Champagne is aged at least three years before it is released into the world for us to consume. One of the things I love about this Champagne, I kind of call it the power couple Champagne. The wine house came about back in the 1800s after the marriage of Pierre-Nicolas Perrier and Rose Adelaide Jouet. Yep, that's how they say their names. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Oh my God, I hope that's their names. Power couple because he was a merchant, his father was a botanist, he also was a botanist, and she came from a merchant family. So I don't know, that's like the craziest thing. They decided to like get married, be in love, and say, let's start a champagne company. Like that's that's like that's the dream. Like couple goals. I meet someone that wants to start a champagne company with me. I don't have to do it myself. I have someone to help me label the bottles. Before we get into this tasting, I want to remind you to go ahead and subscribe wherever the hell the subscription button is down yonder, okay? And if you don't follow me on Instagram, it is at asia.alexander. All right, let's go. Well, again, I have tasted this champagne before, but this is, I have a lot of lotion on my hands. Oh, that's fun, Asia, you are the smartest. Condensation and lotion don't mix, you guys. I wanted to review this champagne on camera just because it's one that you can buy literally at the grocery store. It's, it's a champagne that's easy to find, very accessible. So I wanted to get you something, um, you know, that you can go in the store and say, well, what does that taste like? So we're gonna talk about it. You guys know, you always have to wait for the shenanigans. We're good, we're good. Look at that. Oh. Okay, it, it was a little. Okay, we're good. I was just like, what is that noise? But I forgot, Perrier can be, she can be a little, she can be a little sassy. All right, I got my Lehman. You know how I feel about my Lehman. So let's just go for it. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Golden, gorgeous. So on the nose, very floral, in a good way. I know some people hear that and they're like, eh, but in a good way. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, this is one of, I mean, I, it really, I, I love this champagne because it's just, what am I feeling right now? Excitement, that's one. It's just, it feels like you are in a garden where no spiders exist because I don't, I don't fool with spiders. Other bugs, you kind of flick them away. Spiders, I don't, I ain't doing it. That's why I'm not going to Australia because y'all can't guarantee that won't, won't be in the bag with me like arachnophobia. Uh, anyways, anyways, I digress. Being in a garden though, being in a garden, being like just, it's refreshing and the, the breeze going through whatever, like vines, I don't know, I don't know what I, I don't know what I'm feeling, but I feel things, I feel things, I feel it. Mm-hmm. And that's why she was making the noise in the bottle. The bubbles can be very vivacious and I'm definitely getting that on my palette right now. Also with Perrier Jouet, it is, it's an excellent champagne because it has a long finish. That long finish with the, those vivacious bubbles is just, you got the floral notes. You have pear, of course. And, oh man, this is, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm always like, this is one though that really makes me feel things. And I tend to like cut feelings off because they're like dangerous. You get orange peel. Excuse me, a little juicy. 
a little juicy. <laughs> I love this. You have a little, a little bit of brioche in there. I love that. That is very exciting to me anytime I get um, toasty notes or, or yeasty notes. It's just personal preference. You may not like that. It's not prominent, but it's just everything is just ever so delicate. I just love this champagne. Hmm. You will, the acidity is there, so you're going to get the juiciness. Juicy fruit, okay? This one is just a fine blend. It's well balanced. You have some vanilla notes as well. I'm getting, again, some long finish, so sometimes you get things and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, you're in there. I like that. Love this. This is a champagne that I would pair with pan-seared seafoods. So obviously fish or um, a shellfish. You have that crusted, you know, steak or something like that. It, it The bubbles will really... They, they'll complement each other with something like that. I, I'm, I'm really loving this. This would also go good with roasted white meat, such as a juicy chicken breast or duck. You know, that, that's, oh man. Oh, and you roast some veggies. I mean, you could do fried chicken. The thing about it, for me personally, if I were to fry chicken, I would want a Cremant um, from Burgundy. That's something in my head I go to. I wouldn't necessarily want to use this on a fried chicken because when you eat fried chicken, you be grubbing. And this is something where you're eating a little bit slower and you're enjoying your meal and enjoying your champagne or you could have it alone and you just, you, you really have the time to enjoy it. This is not, in my opinion, one that you wanna drink passively. Uh, you, you want to enjoy it on a day where you're done with whatever work you have, you have meetings, uh, you don't want to necessarily be the hostess and have to drink this because you're drinking it and you're trying to entertain everyone. You want to be the guest that is relaxed and you can take on this full experience like you're in a spiderless garden. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's where we're going to go with. You want to be in a spiderless garden drinking this, all right? That's all I have really for you. This is a great champagne. It's definitely worth the price point. So if you go into the store and you're like, I don't know, it's worth it. Trust me on that. So go ahead and grab it. Have it for a party. Have it for a celebration. I think it's really great for a celebration. Again, you don't want to have something too heavy or where you're focused on eating so much and not, you know, like that, that balance. Think European. Europeans seem to enjoy life. I'm an American, everything seems like you're in a rush. So this is this is a slowdown. That's what this is for me. It's a slowdown in the spiderless garden. All right, that's it, that's all. My name is Asia, like a continent. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you can be reminded every time that I post a video. Also follow me on Instagram at asia.alexander. I'm really excited to bring wines to you, but if there's anything else that you suggest or want to know about, go ahead and leave that in the comments. Don't forget to share this content as well because then other people can learn about wine. I want everyone to know as much as they can take on with wine so you can have the best possible experience ever. Again, my name is Asia, like the continent, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.